Francis dodges question on Masa Amini and Iran protests. Pope Francis answered questions from reporters aboard the papal plane on November 6th after his recent four-day trip to Bahrain. One of the questions asked was how Masa Amini, whose death sparked an outcry in Iran and worldwide, and whether the Pope supported the protests in the country. For context, Iran's morality police detained 22-year-old Masa Amini for not wearing her hijab properly. She died in police custody, causing massive demonstrations across the Islamic Republic and other countries. Pope Francis didn't directly call out Iran or give a straightforward answer. Instead, he discussed how women in some countries are treated as second-class citizens and that the fight for women's rights worldwide remains a quote-unquote continuous struggle. He stated, quote, we have to continue to struggling for this because women are a gift. God did not create man and then give him a lapdog to play with. He created both equal, man and woman. Aside from giving a lengthy response on the general issue of women's rights, Pope Francis also called female genital mutilation a criminal act that must be stopped. So I thought this was interesting because when this was reported in other media, they were, the headline was, you know, Pope Francis speaks out against female genital mutilation, blah, blah, blah. And I went to go read it, and then I realized that like, actually, he wasn't asked about this at all. He was asked about Masa Amini. And then he didn't really talk about it at all. And then he started talking about FGM instead. And I don't know why the Pope would maybe, dodge this kind of question. Maybe he didn't look into it? Maybe he was like, Shh, oh, God damn it. I, was, I haven't been briefed on this. Huh? Which would be weird. If, why would he let, why would he dodge that question? Why ask, why, why would he dodge that question? I don't know. Like there were, I was watching some Catholic, like reporting agency talking about, and they're like basically saying that he was being political or whatever, but I don't know what political interest he has in this case. Because in terms of his history, like with the regime, he very clearly favored Sistani, Ayatollah Sistani in Iraq, who was a firm secularist, over Khamenei, which was a very clear, powerful message that the regime like was butthurt over. So I don't know. It's very confusing to me. Um, people and uh, yeah, and FGM. Some people in the left chat are asking, do people do FGM in Iran? I mean, technically, there's no law against it in FGM, but if it happens, it, it's not that. I don't think it's that common. I mean, even if the, it does happen, there are other countries. North African countries are FGM where so FGM and Iran. Like, I mean, I'm not, I don't want to dismiss like as unimportant the, the amount of FGM that ha does happen in Iran, it, 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 which I don't know. I'm sure it happens a little bit, but I don't know exactly how much. But it's just like not something when, that you think of when you think about Iran and Islam. You would think No, it's North much Africa. less common in Shiism either way. Yeah, you would, think, you would think North Africa. That's what you would think. So I don't know why he thinks of FGM when you talk about Maso Amini. Um, I, I just think he was... If I had to guess, I just think like, God damn it, I didn't do my homework on this. That's what I think happened. Mm. Yeah, he like he just, went on. This to... is like you know how the teacher asks you if you read like the chapter. Yeah, you know, asks you a question about the chapter that you were supposed to read, and you just like try to figure something out based on the title of the book, or like yeah, you mm -hmm. just like come up with like impromptu. I think that was he was trying to do. He was like acting like he did his homework, but he didn't. If um if if he had spoken about it, do you think it would have been beneficial? Oh yeah, for sure. What the hell? Iran right now needs all the Iranian protesters need all the highlight news highlight that they could get, right? Mm -hmm. So the Pope coming out and saying something, even though I hate this guy, it would been it would have been very good. It would have been another excuse to keep the Iran news alive and, and around the world. Now, I mean, this guy, what the things he said, like so many people follow what this man says, right? And 
a lot of people just because they're Catholic, if he says something, they're going to, okay, okay, whatever you said, right? So that would be a major uh, plus for pressure on the Iranian government. Major plus. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of a lot of uh, stupid Catholics are just like anti, um, just in support of like fighting climate change, you know, for green energy and stuff. Not because they looked into it, just because this guy said something. You know what I mean? Um, so, I mean, Catholics, a lot of them are conservative, and they, conservatives are stupid. So they're like, they're about to, they they don't take a strong position against like fighting for fighting climate change, right? But when it comes to this guy says something, all of a sudden they're on board, right? So, yeah, we could have used that, you know, herd mentality here a little bit. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Like when it's when it benefits us, we could like we're in, we're all for it. <laughs> God damn it, <laughs> the digs. Yeah, he like went on to talk about how. Um, this a society that is not capable of allowing women to have greater roles does not move forward. A society that cancels women from public life is a society that grows poor. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was, I wish it was more direct, but yeah, you're probably right. You probably didn't know the details. And it was just like, let's talk about women's rights in general. Although it yeah. was funny when I was reading reactions to this news, everyone, because mm, the good. highlight from it and other news agencies was about FGM. Um, mm. And, um, oops, I just messed up my notes. Um, and people in the comments were going off about how, like, okay, well, why don't you talk about male genital mutilation? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's another story. We don't want to get into that right now. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I really liked that, like, when I was looking at reactions to this, that was a highlight of the reaction to this. It was, like, people actually talking about male circumcision and how it's freaking wrong. So, I don't know. It's cool to kind of see more people take that stance. Mm. Okay. take Yeah, you're right, actually. That's a good point. Check that private chat as well. I'm going to read some of the live chat. Darko saying, the church has so many different interests. Interests. It's hard to figure out what game the Pope is playing at the moment. Yeah, I mean, I just think he was confused. I'm pretty sure with the criticism next time they ask him. I'm almost sure the next time they ask him the same question, he's going to have something better to say. We'll see. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.